guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Gal Gadot, Wonder Woman herself. Yay! She had an interview with Entertainment Tonight uh, yesterday or the day before. Maybe it was a couple days ago. But it's really interesting the takeaway that some people have had from her for, from her interview. We're not hearing anything about um, what she said regarding superheroes being for boys or for girls. Yes, which is basically what a lot of women like me have been saying this entire time. Instead, most media outlets takeaway was that she's not carrying her sword and her shield in this movie in Wonder Woman 1984. But a couple of uh, a couple of outlets have pointed out that she actually spent about 30 seconds addressing this divide between male and female centered movies. What which the media is creating and Hollywood is creating, um, not the fandom. Yeah, and they tried to they tried to trick her. They tried to they tried to do to Gal Gadot what they did to to Henry Cavill and to Joaquin Phoenix and all these other celebrities where they get a journalist in a room with them and they start out nice enough and then they ask some weird political questions. Very pointed questions to try to push what their agenda they're pushing this week. Yeah, and they want headlines. They mm -hmm. want headlines like Gal Gadot told the, the man babies and the trolls to go away. Yeah, but that's not what she did because she, she's a class act and I've always liked her. And she's a mom and I'm a mom and I'm a mom of, of a son and a daughter. Um, she has two girls and I, I really appreciate what she said because that's exactly what I've been saying, what other women have been saying, what other men have been saying. And uh, the media is the one creating this huge trench, this Grand Canyon of bullshit. Mm. Um, they're the ones spinning this. It's not, you know, the fans as much as it is the media. Yeah, and it becomes very apparent uh, in this interview. And again, we've seen this time and time again with uh, Henry Cavill, with Joaquin Phoenix, um, with any any personality, any fan personality that, that does seem more fan friendly, mm -hmm. I think the ones that don't come out hard in the paint and be like, we hate these kinds of people, um, she actually was very balanced. So we're going to talk about that in this episode of Clownfish TV. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. We're on our way to 100,000 subs. We Yay! appreciate it. I definitely appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. And um, before we get into what she actually said, I want to point out again, you know, you look for Gal Gadot in the last 24 hours, very few in the last week even, and very few outlets are talking it's all sword about... sword and shield, sword and shield. Sword, sword and shield. shield. They're not talking about this really pointed question that I thought... She looked very uncomfortable when she was asked it. I really thought she handled it well. I thought she, she handled it very well. She, I thought she wasn't very uncomfortable. I thought she looked like she expected it. Yes. And she was prepared for it. And... I thought she handled it very, very well, but she always handles things well. She's so classy. I just really like her. <laughs> so so she was talking with Entertainment Tonight. She was asked about playing an iconic character for the second time in Wonder Woman 84 and uh, that she's the mother of two daughters. Right. So I'll just play. I'm not going to play the audio in this, but said you're a mom of two well, daughters. There's a, a, there's a, a, a transcription below. Okay. So, but I, I want to get her reaction. Okay. This is the interviewer asking her about halfway through the interview about being a mom and oh you have two daughters and she's already she like she knew what was, going, was coming so she, she has she, this look on her face but yeah, she, she cuts her like, off hey, oh my gosh the hand going this is very me she she cuts her off she cuts the interviewer off she knew off. where she was going she's like oh hell no she's like yeah that's that's true but I gotta tell you and she gets the finger going that, is that not what I do yeah. If you had a video, I'm always like, rrr, rrr, rrr. I talk with my hands. Anyway, and I'm not even Italian. Um, so her answer was, but I got to tell you, it's just not for, it's not just for the girls. It is for the girls, but we can't reach the place where we are going to stop talking about female men, you know, women empowerment, feminism and all that before we work on both female and male. We can't just empower women only by focusing on women. We also need to educate the boys and men. So a young boy that goes to see this in the cinema, this amazing woman that does those amazing things that he can believe a woman can do that. You know what I mean? It goes both ways. And that's what I'm saying. It's like, you guys do these movies I mean Hollywood, you do these movies and you flat out tell them that's not for you. It's for women. We don't want the guys there at all. But then you whine and scream and say that, you know, well, men, men are misogynist and men are blah, blah, blah. They don't appreciate strong female characters. Well, one, you're not making good strong female characters. I think Wonder Woman is a good strong mm -hmm. female character. But two, you're telling them not to come, not to see a character like Wonder Woman and, and how she reacts to the men in the, in the movie and everything else. And the men also aren't belittled just for her, you know, to raise her up. Yeah. And I'm a mom of a son and a daughter. 
And I'm not gonna tell my son he's less than to tell my daughter she's more than, or vice versa. That's bullshit. Uh, growing up as a kid, I was never told I was less than. I was told I could do whatever the hell I wanted to do. Not in those words, sorry, mom. Um, I could do whatever I wanted to do if I worked hard enough and, and try, you know, tried and, I, and I, I worked my butt off for it, I could do what I wanted. This whole idea that, you know, women should just be handed things and, and men should know their place is a load of shit. And she's basically saying, you know, and plus it's, it's stupid from a marketing standpoint. You have a good movie coming out. You want men there just as much as you want women there. Yeah, um, that's because that's that's money, right? I mean, you speak from it from a dad and a dude. You go ahead. Uh, well, from my perspective, my thing is like, look, you want again. I, I agree with uh, Gal Gadot because I like her so much. because you want young men to see strong women, but you also want equality. You don't. I mean, look, the purpose of all of this, I thought, gender equality was that everybody is a peer. You don't have to denigrate boys mm -hmm. to to make women feel better about themselves. You don't have to denigrate not... women to make you know, put men in positions of authority. It, 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 it's that's what that's what true feminism is is equality. Well, that's what it used to be. Well, that's what the definition is, and that's the feminism. That's I what it used do. to be. Uh, and so, you know, for for Gal Gadot to come out and basically, and she expect, I think she expected this question. It was interesting if you watch the video, and I'll put a link to the video. Uh, Patty Jenkins is sitting next to her. Then immediately after that, the interviewer starts talking about like, "Wow, these girl power, go women, whatever." Patty Jenkins has, to the best of my knowledge, uh, never insulted male viewers of mm -hmm. Wonder Woman. Uh, Gal Gadot has never insulted uh, male viewers they want everybody there now this is put out by warner brothers warner brothers which shut you know, down the media with shut the down the joker. media before with the joker so i'm really starting to think that warner brothers is a little smarter than disney at this point mm -hmm. and they're like no we want all the money we want all the money so you know what you're gonna we're gonna like even when wonder woman came out now i i didn't pay as much attention back then because we weren't doing youtube back then but i do not remember there being a huge backlash, uh, anti Wonder Woman backlash or anything when Wonder Woman came out. I think out. there was some, but it wasn't it wasn't that much. And I think after people saw the movie, that that stopped really quick. People were like, "Oh my gosh, it's a good movie." She happens to be female, but it's a good movie. Um, what got, what gets me? And my hands going just like hers right now. Actually. Yeah, it is your fingers. What gets me right. is this whole thing with Twitter. The other day. Brie Larson put a tweet out, you know, uh, you know, talking about Wonder Woman and excited she is. The, the, right here, he has the, yeah. the, the tweet, um, which is cool. You know, go Brie Larson for at least, you know, for saying, you know, how awesome this new her competition is, the Wonder Woman movie is, you know. Um, and, uh, you know, that's cool. But in the comments, immediately people are like, you know, yeah, take that man babies kind of thing. And people are like, what are you talking about? Well, because because the internet was pitting Wonder Woman against Captain Marvel. And then why can't we have both? And I'm like, no, whoa, 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 back up the bus here. That is not what happened. That is not what happened. What happened was the internet and Twitter was like, oh, men don't like strong female characters and superheroes. And Twitter's response was, we liked Wonder Woman. And then they're like, oh my God, why are you pitting Wonder Woman against Captain Marvel? And that is not what happened at all. And if you like strong female characters at the same time, why the hell were you all butt hurt mad about Alita? That's at the same time as Captain Marvel, Alita was supposed to be bad and Captain Marvel was supposed to be good. And the reason for arguing it Brie Larson was in a skin tight suit too. They had to have an ass double. I mean, come on, if you weren't worried about the male gaze, why did you care about her butt not being round enough? So I'm just saying. Because Brie Larson, Brie Larson made comments, uh, you know, talking about how, how men had their time in Hollywood, it's time for changes, et cetera, et cetera. Now I do think some of those comments were, we're taking out of context. But I do. Ba but basically you can see how Brie Larson conducts herself during an interview and compare it to Gal Gadot who has a very diplomatic answer. And uh, again, she just seems very excited to play Wonder Woman and she wants everybody to come see her movie. Brie Larson was like, yeah, we don't really need so many men in Hollywood. And that's not- Well, but beyond that- play well. Beyond that, the, 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 the journalists- The pitted, journalists run with it. And the thing is they took these con these comments from another interview that was months prior and they, they were the ones that spun it out of context too. But, the journalists were the ones that we can't have a lead at the same time as Captain Marvel. The lead is bad because they, people are backing that, but, but Captain Marvel's good. This is a load of shit. They are creating this false argument that isn't even there. Um, people like just movie, good movies with good mm. characters, whether they're male or female. And Alita was a good movie that happened to have a female lead. Wonder Woman's a good movie that happens to have a female lead. People don't have problems with those movies. They bring up Alien all the time and all and, you know, the old Terminator movies. They're brought up all the time as examples of good characters that we had no problem with. 
But the media has to spin it that it's a competition and it's not been a competition. They made it a competition between Wonder Woman and Captain Marvel. They made it a competition between Captain Marvel and Alita. And if you go back to our videos, I kept saying, as a woman, why can't we have two strong female-led movies at the same time? Isn't that what we wanted? Isn't this a good thing? Why do we have to put one down to raise another one up? Why can't we just be happy that there's two at the same time? Sorry, I'm taking over, but damn it, I'm pissed. And I'm a woman, and I'm a mom, and I'm, yeah, Gal Gadot, that's, that's what I'm saying. You know, you tell them, because this is what is going on, and I'm so sick of these bullshit journalist websites saying this stuff, and they're like, you need to tell everybody's articles and read them. No, we take articles that are full of shit and correct them. That's what we do. Sorry, Mom. Go ahead. Anyway. Sorry, you can talk now. Anyway, no, that's okay. I think this is more This is more your arena here, because I know you're a huge Wonder Woman uh, fan. But, yeah, I mean, I don't remember. This drama is manufactured by the media. And Gal Gadot had a very proper answer. I she think, shut him down. Go for, good for her. I think Warner Brothers is going to be shutting a lot of these people down. I think because they they saw what happened with Joker. Basically, they saw the billion dollar the billion dollar uh, question here is you know how you treat the fans is how they they react to your movie. And if you shoot the fans down, you make issues where there aren't issues, then you're going to suffer at the box office. And uh, Warner Brothers, I think, is doing it right. I think Gal Gadot's doing it right. I think Patty Jenkins is... Yeah. I didn't even know Wonder Woman was directed by a woman when it came out. No, because it wasn't about being a good superhero movie. Right. It wasn't about an agenda. And the thing about, you know, the Wonder Woman films, like, like you said, they're, they want everybody... They're, everybody's welcome to the movie. It's for men and women. Yeah. It's not just for women. They're like, it's for everyone. And it's like you go on about men and being problematic men. Well, wouldn't, wouldn't having good movies like Wonder Woman that don't belittle men or belittle women... Um, wouldn't that be a good example for boys to see that women can be awesome and kick ass, but the men can be too at the same time? You know what I mean? And you don't have, and you don't have to talk down to men. You don't have to talk down to women. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they keep doing these movies, and it's just people like good, strong female characters as long as they're actually strong female characters and not an agenda wrapped up in in a female character package. And yeah. you know, and and that's what I'm saying. And I always liked Gal Gadot. And actually, if I could meet a celebrity, I would like to meet her because she's awesome. And she's always been about being a mom. And I'm a mom. I understand where she's coming from. You know, I mean, not to pit, not to pit Wonder Woman against Captain Marvel, but it's so funny. It's so funny about uh, you know all this with the fact that she's like, yeah, I want men and women to to watch my movie, and she's giving a very uh, good answer, right, to make sure ever nobody feels alienated and everybody mm -hmm. comes to see the movie. But she's also a legit soldier. I know. She was an Israeli soldier. She actually had that. So then when you had Brie Larson out there talking about how, how hard she had to work well, out. She did work. I mean, I'm not the little. No, 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 no. Out. But I'm like, now it became a pissing contest of like, which, which female superhero works out more. And I'm like, she was actually in the military. But it doesn't I, matter. You know, at the other day, though, it really doesn't matter. And no, that's what I'm saying. And the Brie Larson thing, I mean, I'll give her credit for, you know, giving a shout out to Wonder Woman. But, she, but yeah. you know what? I honestly think she did it because she knew it would stir up crap because everybody, she goes, according to her and these people, everybody was pitting Captain Marvel against Wonder Woman. And that's not what happened. No, 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 no. They just said, the you studios, men. The studios yeah, just, and the media. media. Yeah. And they just, all they said was, men don't like strong female characters. And men are like, no, we liked Wonder Woman quite a bit. And they're like, oh my God, you're putting Wonder Woman against Captain Marvel, making it contest and they're like no we're not and and it's just you know alita you, you couldn't have why can we not just have three strong female well one of the most questionable led movies and be happy about it no you have to make it a contest and then you bitch and moan about everybody making it a contest when you yourself are the ones making it a contest be happy that we had those at the same time and it was amazing you know, I mean, that's a big thing. It's a, it was a big deal. And instead of focusing on what a big deal it was to have Captain Marvel and Alita at the same time and how, how awesome that was, they made it a flipping contest. Yeah. Well, you just flip and undermine your own message. What the hell's wrong with you? You're actually putting us back as women. Sorry. There you go. Go. I'm sorry, I'm mad. I, no, I know you're mad. My head hurts. Because that was one thing <laughs> we talked about. Well, that was one thing we talked about. You know, throughout the whole pill. the whole the whole uh, drama with Captain Marvel was, you know, they kept making Captain Marvel out like she was going to be the first female superhero and da 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 da. But Wonder Woman did it. Frankly, I, I mean, if you put the two movies, if you want to compare, put the two movies objectively together. Movie. Wonder Woman was, and she did it two years before Wonder Woman. It was so weird because people didn't expect it to do as well as it did, and it had legs. It just kept, you know, doing really, well, really, really I well. I think the choices were that were made too is part of it because uh, Wonder Woman wasn't uh, didn't make men less than to elevate the character of the female, and it was just a good movie. Mm -hmm. Where Marvel and Disney decided to to make, you know, okay, and, and Wonder Woman was the main character in a movie. Where Disney made 
Captain Marvel kind of a side character, her own movie, because yeah, you it know, was weird. They didn't feel she could carry the movie, well, and you know, they they made that choice, not the fandom. Yeah, they yeah. did, and you know, Wonder Woman was definitely the star of her movie, but she shared a lot with Chris Pine. Um, yeah, but they didn't they didn't feel the need to crack jokes at his expense. You know, no. throughout it's like such a good movie. I love Wonder Woman. If you haven't seen Wonder Woman, go watch Wonder Woman. It's a really good movie. I think hopefully I'd like to think most people will see it by now. It's been out for two years. Spoiler so good. Spoiler, Chris Pine dies in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 two years to see it. It's an amazing it movie. And it's done in a really well it really it's really well done. It's done in a way that it does both characters, you know, and even the bad guy character, all the characters, you know, hold their own and there's no it's about the story and about the characters. It's not about, you know, putting up women here and men here and putting people in their place and, and all these bullshit like side agendas that are becoming the main focus of movies. It's about telling good story with good characters. And that's what people want. General audiences want. It's just good stories with good characters. Alien was a huge hit and I think it's so funny that uh, we, we covered that Mary Sue article a month or two ago where oh, they just now watched they it? just now watched alien they're like oh my god there were strong female characters 20 some years ago 30 some years ago female characters for many years 40 they years didn't ago invent it 15 years ago, or five years ago or whatever 2015 god. they didn't invent it then it has been they have been around for decades they've been around in books for years i mean even you know back when women were considered you know they couldn't have property and all that there still was books with strong female characters in them then you know, it's this, this whole idea that that it has never ex existed is kind of an insult to all the women who came before who went out on a limb and actually took real risks to make this the case. You know, and these women now are just, you know, whining and screaming that that's the case to get themselves better deals, but they didn't actually go to bat to do anything new. They weren't the ones who took any real risk. Yeah. And and to the women who did take the real risk, it's kind of insulting to say that, that you just invented it five years ago, four years ago. Yeah, it's, it's well, it's funny. Um, YouTuber uh, Young Rippa 59 I've watched his videos before. He's, he's a pretty smart dude. Um said that uh yeah the interviewer tried to, to trip her up and i i, did, I think yeah. she did she's like oh you have two daughters girl power girl she power. shut her down with her hand going like I she would was have. wagging her yeah, finger I at her love you. I give you a hug. she was like basically High five you she was being nice about it, but she's almost like well, she you, always is she's very kind yeah she's like you stop right there i'm gonna correct you i mean she's doing the uh, she, she moves her hands like yes yeah, she's do. like no no there, no there, no, look, that's no, what I do. no she expected this question look at her in her seat look watch when she asked her the questions she knows she's already she's she already goes into, like battle stance she does she goes full wonder woman on this this reporter she's like okay you're suing up for the second time and you've got daughters you're a mama too watch her reaction yeah she's just, like oh hell no <laughs> hell no uh, there comes a finger wag like you no, can't you, see me, but that's just what I'm doing. You shut your mouth. Video. I'm going to school you. That's what she's doing because she knows. And I think Warner Media, especially, had be, told them to be ready for it. Yeah, I think they told them they're going to make this. They're going to make this uh, a feminism thing, just like they tried to drag the Joker into the the shooting thing, just like they tried to make uh, Henry Cavill use Henry Cavill to try to shut up all the Witcher fans. Mm -hmm. You know, they try to use celebrities as blunt instruments to attack mm -hmm. fans with. Um, and she wasn't going to have it. And Patty Jenkins was sitting there laughing as she's going off about it. And yeah, I, and she still got the idea that, you know, we need to empower women, we can't, but we can't disempower women by focusing on women. If you right. want women to be equal to men, you have to educate boys and men about why women, you know, women should be equal. Yeah. Not, not better. Not better. She says equal. She doesn't say better. And that's just it. It's the women shouldn't be better than men. Men shouldn't be better than women. People of certain ethnicities shouldn't be better than other people of different ethnicities. Um, religions, you know, et cetera, et cetera, sexual orientation, whatever. It shouldn't be you're better than somebody because they're different than you. And, and you know, one of them doesn't have more power, shouldn't have more power than the other. And just, you know, it shouldn't be able to, you know, I'm playing this card now. And that's what she's saying. And that's what she's not wrong about. And, you know, she's actually saying what everybody's thinking. The media keeps claiming they're ar making this argument and then they're arguing for this, but they are not. They're arguing for the complete opposite of what they think it is today, which does not equal equality. No, that's the thing. You know, people who, and you're not really hearing that argument, and that's a whole other argument, but you're not hearing people wanting equality. You're hearing people want basically- Revenge. Yeah, they want things to be flip-flopped the other way in their favor, not, you know. But even when they get things flip-flopped into their favor and they have two big box office movies at the same time with females, they couldn't just take it as, yay, it's a win. No, they had to pit people against each other. You, you, you get what you want and you still bitch about it. That's what people are mad about. And you know what? Just, you know, shut up. Make good movies that happen to feature men and women. Um, 
the best movies I can think of usually have strong females and males in the movie. And do make good characters with good movies and make it about telling a good story. Do that and you're fine. All right. Well, I'm not going to say anything else because I don't want to be accused of uh, mansplaining uh, to you. No, I want your opinion because you're a dude. I want to see what no, I'm my, coming out from a woman and a mom. My opinion is, is you know what? If the media didn't make this an issue, I would have gone to see Wonder Woman and not thought anything of it. I had very low expectations for Wonder Woman when we went to go see it because of Batman versus Superman. Right. I did not like it. She uh, actually I, was the best part of those movies. She was. To be honest. She had the best theme song, too. Uh, but I didn't care for Batman versus Superman. I didn't care for Man of Steel. So, and again, I know you like Henry Cavill. I'm saying he's a good Superman in a bad movie. Yeah, he's just cute. Okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. You're allowed to have that opinion. Uh, so, sorry. If I found him cute, we would have would, some issues. Well, we'd no, have to work I'll through. see girls and I'll be like, oh, she's really cute, or I think she's really pretty. It doesn't mean I want to, to, to sleep with her. It just means that I find her attractive. Um, and I will say that all the time. I think Yoga Dot's gorgeous, you know, and I think she's a, she's adorable. I just want to hug her, but not in that kind of way. She knows and how to shoot a gun, too. I know, and uh, uh. I appreciate you. I respect you. You make me happy. I'm so glad you're in this world, and uh, um, I'm glad that you're out there representing. That's that's why I want to give her a hug. I legitimately would love to hug her. Love to hug her. She she is the Wonder Woman that we deserve. At least high five her. Yeah, but she, so look, um, I didn't have a lot of hope for Wonder Woman. Again, not because it was Wonder Woman. That ne that thought never crossed my mind. When I was a little boy, little, little tiny boy, I used to watch Wonder Woman on TV. So did I, I loved Wonder Woman. I never thought anything of Wonder it. Wonder Woman. Like all of this division, uh, you know, over whether it's a female or male superhero, this is a recent when thing. When we were kids. Didn't matter. Boys wanted no. the same toys as girls did. Care Bears, Cabbage Patch Kids. It didn't matter. It was made for both. Everybody wanted them. So this idea of this idea that is so divisive is so hard for me to wrap my head around because growing up, it was not the issue. No, it really wasn't. And now they're making it this huge issue. I'm just like, yeah. I mean, for look for old heads like us who remember how things used to be. We're like, why are we still having this discussion? This was already taken care of. And then the media decided, the media and Tumblr decided they were going to come back and reignite the debate. You yeah, know, well, when, no, because they, they had the, it's like, it's like Star Wars. We have to dig it up to re-kill it and say we were the ones that won. Yeah, we it's have like to. We had to create the problem again just so we could say there's a problem. And and, and look, we, 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 we beat it. We have stood up against it. We have invented diversity. We have invented representation. But it's not the truth. And that's what makes me mad. The All the people have come before, um, you know, it's, it's an insult it's, and it's a slap in the face and it's not right. Yeah. And that's something I think we'll talk about later. We were going to do a video. Uh, maybe we'll do it uh, this weekend talking about some of the women who worked in animation yeah. decades ago who brought you some of your favorite uh, male centered action cartoons. There were lots of women working in animation. There was lots of representation at Filmation. Um, not just women, LGBTQ. There was a lot of representation and it's not a new thing. It was already there. Yeah, it's, it's again, it's this whole thing of like, now we have to create problems that were taken care of. We thought, we thought they were. And now all of a sudden here they are popping up again. Like, wait, 30, 40 years ago, we were actually more progressive than we are now. That's a pretty scary thought. Now it's like, we have to bring all this stuff up um, just to have another boogeyman to fight. But yeah, Gal Gadot's like, yeah. hell with it. I'm Wonder not, Woman I'm and Charlie's Angels brought the audiences in TV and how many years ago? And yeah. they had no problem bringing audiences in. I'm just saying. But look at the difference between how the Wonder Woman movies and the Charlie's Angels movies know, have I'm been saying. handled. And uh, yeah, so it's, look, Hollywood's going to have to learn a few painful lessons. I think Wonder Woman 84, if it doesn't suck, is going to do very, very well because the first one was shockingly good because people had very low expectations for the DC. Not because at that it was point. a woman, because no, it was DC. Because it was DC. At that point, DC was kind of striking out. And lately, I'm going to be honest, I am way more excited about the movies coming out from DC than I am Marvel. Yeah. Oh, point. and then by the way, Shazam, I think they said has a release date for next year too now. Oh, Shazam 2. Okay. Yeah. And then we got Black Adam coming. We've yeah. got. Uh, so I'm excited about next year's movies. I mean, it looks good, but you know, a lot of Disney ones aren't going to be on the list. So I'm just saying. Uh, yeah. So yeah. can we wrap this up now? We're wrapping this I need one up. A tile all. So please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.